Minecraft 1.20.5 just came out and there's already shaders for it, as you can see in this video. And the great thing is that we could take off these shaders with just a click of a button and then we could add them back up by pressing the same button. That's amazing. Anyways, I'm going to teach you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.20.5 and let's go ahead and get started. And step number one to get shaders in Minecraft 1.20.5 is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Iris. Iris is a shader loader that is going to allow us to add shaders to the game. To download Iris, just scroll down to step one and then click where it says download Iris here. That will redirect you over here where we're going to click download now. Then over here, you're going to click download universal jar and the download for Iris will start automatically. And don't worry about downloading Iris because it is completely safe to download. And talking about something safe, you know what else is safe? Our sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking to create a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a Minecraft server that is open 24 seven and that is hosted completely online. So you don't have to expose your IP address, putting yourself at risk, or you don't have to utilize your computer resources because this server will be hosted by Apex Hosting. Then this is the perfect service for you. There's many things I love about Apex Hosting. For example, you can install more than 200 mod packs with just one click and get it set up in less than five minutes you could set up the server anywhere in the world so it doesn't matter where you are you could be in europe you could be in india you could be in miami you could be anywhere in the world and you could set up a server and have that perfect connection so you don't have to worry about lagging so if you want to get 25 percent off your first server use the first link in the description and now let's get back into the tutorial once iris has downloaded we could find it here in our recent download history or in our downloads folder within our computer now we have iris the installer which means that we could already install this and add shaders if you already have some shaders. However, if you don't have any shaders, then that is what we're going to do in the next step. If you don't want to download any shaders in this tutorial, like for example, we're going to download complementary shaders, but if you don't want to download any shaders in this tutorial, well, you could skip this step. But right now we're going to go ahead and download those shaders that you saw in the intro of this video. Click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install complementary shaders. You see they have cool features. And then once you over here, scroll down to the step one and click on download. That will redirect you over here, where you're going to click on files, and then you're going to download the most recent version of complementary unbound. As you can see, it says 1.20.4 in here. However, don't worry because 1.20.4 will work 100% with Minecraft 1.20.5. To download these shaders, click on these little three dots in here and then click download file. And after five seconds, you will get the download to start over here. Just give it five seconds. Mine was immediately, but yours is going to take five seconds. Once it downloads, it's going to be a zip file. And don't worry because you don't have to extract it. You're going to leave it as a zip file. Go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now we are kind of ready to begin. The first thing you want to do is close your Minecraft launcher. However, it is important that you have played Minecraft 1.20.5 at least once on your computer, because if you haven't run Minecraft 1.20.5 at least once, then there won't be an instance for the Iris shaders to install to. So make sure you run it once, then close out from the game and then close out from the launcher. And once that is done, we could go ahead and install Iris by double clicking on it. You could also right click on it and launch it as an admin if you're having any issues. Once you're over here, you're going to select 1.20.5, which should be selected automatically already. Just go ahead and select it if it's not, and then make sure Iris only is selected and click install. By the way, guys, if you're struggling to open the Iris installer, that might be because you have an outdated Java version. And no, I'm not referring to the Minecraft game. I'm referring to Java as the software that allows you to run this type of jar files. This is called a jar file. And if you struggle to open it, let's say that it opens as a text document or a web browser or something like that, you then might have to update Java to Java 17 because this is the version that you need for that jar file to work. I'm going to leave this guide in the description. If you were to need it, it's going to be the fourth link and it's super simple to follow. Anyways, I'm assuming that most of you did get Iris to open and then you got the Iris installer to work. Once it has completed, you will see in here that it says completed. You can go ahead and close out from the installer and you could even delete the Iris installer now. Now we only have the shaders left and let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher. If we install Iris properly, we will see that as soon as our Minecraft launcher opens and let's give it a second for it to load. By the way, I love this new loading screen. You will see that as soon as Minecraft launcher loads, we'll see Iris and Sodium selected here automatically. However, if that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installation and then click on new installation where it says version. You're going to find release Iris 1.20.5. As you can see, it's one of the most recent options here. You can name this whatever you want and then click create down here. And then that will create an instance of Iris for you. By the way, make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, you won't see Iris in here. Anyways, that's for those of you that didn't get Iris to show up in here automatically, but I'm assuming most of you did get Iris to show up. 
So let's go ahead and launch it. Just click on play, click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft and then click on play again. And let's wait for Iris to load. And once our game has opened, we know that we're in modern Minecraft because it literally says modded down here. And let's go ahead and launch a world. By the way, this will work in multiplayer as well. And remember that if you need a server, you could always use that first link in the description for 25% off. There's a still time. Go get that 25% off. I don't want you complaining later on. And as you can see, as soon as we open the game, we already have shaders loaded. That's because, well, I already had shaders because obviously I try things before I make tutorials on it. I don't make a tutorial out of the blue, you know? I try it, if it works, I make a guide on it, right? Anyways, once we're in the world, we're gonna go ahead and press escape. We're gonna head over to options, video settings. And then here, this is a little intro for Sodium, you know, which comes with Iris. Of course, you could buy them a coffee and donate to the creators of this mod, which is saving the life of thousands of people like us, you know, that want to play with shaders. Anyways, once you're over here, you're gonna click on shader packs. And in here, you probably won't see anything. As you can see, I already have a couple of shaders in here but you most likely won't see anything unless you already had installed shaders in the past. And in order for us to add the new shaders, we're going to click where it says open shaded pack folder. Then that'll bring up this folder in here, which will most likely be empty. Don't worry if it's empty, there's no issue. All you have to do now is drag and drop your shaders that you downloaded. In this case, we downloaded complementary unbound. So you just go ahead and drag and drop it into there. And that's it. You add the zip file into here, open Minecraft back up, and then you will see your complementary unbound instance adding here. And all you have to do now is click on it, click apply. Most likely it will take a couple seconds. It depends on your computer and your computer hardware. That's why I recommend that you host a server online and don't host a server on your own computer because you know, you're putting all that hardware to tough work, you know? Anyways, once we added the shaders, let's click on done, 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 back to the game. And as you can see, we have some beautiful Minecraft shaders which are the complement to your inbound, and we're using Iris. Now, here's a little trick. If you wanna take the shaders off, you could just press K, and that'll take the shaders off without you having to go into the shaders menu. And if you press K again, it will load the shaders back up. Sometimes it takes a little bit, there we go. And also, another thing that you could do is press O, and that will open the shaders menu directly without you having to do everything. But I still wanted to show you the full way of opening the shaders. So yeah, just press O, and you'll be placed in here. Anyways, guys, that has been everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to add shaders. If you were, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye-bye.